Now, before we start, let me quickly say this. You guys already know that I'm not here for Apollo. Regardless if Phaedra, you know, encourage him to lie, whatever the case might be, he's still a grown man that went after Kenya in a very disgusting way. And then when his wife became upset, turned around and lied on her for a few seasons. It was very aggressive and rude towards her on the reunion. So just because this video might sound like I'm a little soft on his fiance or him. I'm not here for Apollo, but you guys already know that I don't feed into the negativity and I report the story regardless if I rock with someone or not and I'm fair. So um in this story, he's not being mean, rude, traumatic to anybody. I mean eventually he did apologize to Kenya. So I just wanted to remind you guys that I'm not here for him, you know, but um, I'm just reporting the story the way that I see fit. All right, let's get into it. What's up, my Fina loves? It's Miss Fina D coming to you all from Fina Team and News. So, back to the story. A few days ago, Apollo fiance went ahead and posted this image right here, and her caption was "Throwback Thursday, almost four years ago." Although it was a very sad day for us because you were leaving for a while, we still remain strong. I'm still here, as I said I would be, and I'm not going anywhere. Love you to the core, baby. And go ahead and read the rest, okay? So, this is my thing. <laughs> so, you know, some of the blog pages went ahead and posted it, and of course, people started doing the math and all of that, okay? So, I know what she's talking about and I also I see where she's coming from and I also see where those people who made a comment saying that oh four years that mean you were cheating with a married man all of that I see where they're coming from now let's let me ask this question before I continue okay um do you what what side do you stand on okay do you stand on the side of if you are legally married, it doesn't matter if your divorce takes four, five, six, seven, ten freaking years. It doesn't matter how long it takes. Both parties should suffer in that and not move on their life and date other people because both parties want to be either petty or because the legal situations and dividing of properties and custody and all of those things take time so are you saying that because you know the paperwork is being worked out and all of that that two people are not allowed to move on if they are legally separated true if they are separated period the marriage is completely over the chances of reconciliation is completely done they are just waiting for signatures to be on pieces of papers do you stay on the side of i don't care how long it takes you are still legally a married man a married woman and she sit there and wallow in you know being single and whatever the case might be and not move on your life are you are you on that side or are you on the side of look man hell no <laughs> if my marriage is done and we're just waiting to sign on a piece of papers i'm not waiting you no know, two three four five ten no years if i meet and fall in love i'm moving on my life and then when the divorce is finalized I'm going to go ahead and get remarried. So are you on the side of if we're legally separated and there's no chances of reconciliation and we're done, I'm moving on my life, say what you want to say, I'm done. Or are you on the side of I don't care what you say, you're still married and all of that. So which side you want? Because I think where Apollo fiance is coming from is because, you know, she let me go ahead and read what she wrote the next day. And then we're going to talk more about it. So she went ahead and posted the same image the next day. Okay. And she captioned it F uh, flashback Friday because I enjoyed throwback Thursday so much. LOL. So you trolls can get on your bleeping keyboard and make me the bad guy. Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Chung Lee. Yeah. That's what she quoted. And uh, please get a clue but you wish you knew bleep out of here living my best life 
and go on and read the rest now the only part where she messed up is the hashtag unbothered i just talked about this the other day if you have to find a picture type a caption do respond to negativity do all of that and then put unbothered sweetheart you are bothered because unbothered people don't even acknowledge the mess okay now let's get to it now when she said you know you have no clue i completely 100 percent see where she's coming from now if you're on the side of when you're legally married you're married case closed whatever it doesn't matter how long it takes be single for 10 years hell whatever i don't agree with that <laughs> but if that's the side you're on then what i'm about to say is not going to make sense but if you're on the side of the marriage is over you the two of you are separated go ahead and move on then you will understand what, what i'm about to say i think what she's saying is you have no idea what goes on behind a scene on tv apollo and phaedra signed a contract okay apollo and phaedra was done for a long time but of course they had to put on for the camera you know he knew what he was doing illegally he knew it was only a matter of time before he got caught up he knew exactly what he was doing and knew that when that time came it was going to be a hot mess but not only was he, uh, apollo being involved in illegal activities they do get a decent check from bravo even though the men don't get paid, I'm sure he had something in there where, you know, Phaedra cut him, you know, cut him a check or whatever the case might be. The same way how, like in the video I did by Kenya Moore and all of that a few days ago. Go ahead and watch that video if you want to hear it, if you want to find out what I'm trying to say. But Peter and Todd both said, you know, to her crazy ex, uh, he who shall remain nameless that their wives you know give them a percentage of the check which make complete sense i'm not going to sit on no one set for 12 13 hours talking about my supportive wife you know what i'm saying and then my husband get paid and i give him a cut yes it's going to go in a bank account yes it's one household it's our money but no so i think you know phaedra was also giving him his piece you know of the check from bravo so he was being smart and showing up but i really do believe they were done for a long time and just putting on for the camera so if so i think that's what she's saying you have no clue they've been done he was just showing up the film and they you know because there were a time there where they just argue a lot and that was it there were a time there where there were no affection no nothing they were just arguing that's because that man was done he had moved on all of that but you know i'm not making excuses for apollo or none of that i'm just saying i know how reality tv work so so i'm not making excuses for this chick as well because i wasn't there i don't know however i'm just saying that when she said you have no clue that's what she's talking about and when the phaedra it's all about image it's all about image some of the most disgusting things can be going on behind the scene but as long as her image shows let's <laughs> every time people will say right why is candy so angry every time people couldn't understand i'm over the place but i like making examples every time people couldn't understand why candy was so angry and phaedra was so calm on camera and they just thought candy was was crazy like oh my god candy is talking about porsche i need anger management you need anger management all of this but what candy kept saying is you guys don't see what goes on behind camera you don't see what she does you don't see the things or hear the things that she said and all of that rage is what happens when i when the camera you know goes on and i have to face her because i know what she does and have said behind the scene and she got caught in it when she was whispering at candy and shimia and todd and they all do their thing together she was whispering because she felt like the mic would not have picked it up. And I mean, that season, Bravo was just like, you know what? Bleep Phaedra. We're going to expose her. The same way they were like, bleep, you know, Kim. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and show everything and expose her. You know, they have their moments where they're like, uh-uh, yeah, you... 
and you need to get exposed you know and that's why they went back because kim thought she was running things and they went back and did all of those flashbacks they did the same thing to phaedra and, and in a way people were then able to see oh this is why candy gets so mad because this is a glimpse of what she does behind the scene i 100 percent believe what was shown on camera and what phaedra tried to show in her household and all of that was completely different behind the scene and apollo was done with the thickness and was out of there and had moved on his life but you know what he had to go along with the storyline because you know i'm in contract and also i'm gonna get this little money that i have coming because i needed you know what i'm saying for the court and all of the things that i have to go through i need it so that's where this chick is coming from but am i i mean am i saying that you know they didn't cheat whatever i don't know but i 100 percent agree with the part that you don't know and have no clue what goes on on camera and behind the scenes so i'm gonna go ahead and read some of the comments here and you know what she's not scared she's like yes bring all of these th this energy to my page because it's gonna show you know my level of engagement and that way i can start posting ads on my page <laughs> i'm just joking but yeah she could have easily turned off the comments on both pictures but she won the smoke man she's not backing down this person wrote i'm trying to figure out why if you are so unbothered you keep bringing it up and talking about it unbothered people never take the time to try to explain a situation or place the blame on somebody else she responded b word at what point you see me explaining myself um um, um <laughs> you wish you knew <laughs> bleep out of here please get a clue uh high on self-love living my best life on body yeah yeah you explain yourself a little bit <laughs> like girl what you talking about girl bye and as, as you can see i'm not on this chick's side i'm just on the side of being re realistic that there's a possibility that the situation was over but i completely understand that we see what we see on tv and we go with that just how some people nobody cares about you and inmate <laughs> and inmate 2847560 okay just go ahead and make up your, your numbers that was funny girl nobody making you the bad guy you was bleeping you were <laughs> bleeping a married man point blank period you're together well spiritually i guess so shut up and hope he don't leave your bleep for a young sexy female that actually has a nice body now i said what i said but yeah see you messed up there she is gorgeous gorgeous and her body is snatched okay so i'm not even gonna take that away from her so that right there is just hating this person could have made a point without coming from her body because it's a lie if you call her ugly and say she don't look good she's gorgeous well one positive comment y'all so cute okay beautiful couple real love so happy for you both so many people love the negativity lol keep pushing forward and doing you Ooh, okay girl you see you got some supporters bleep them do you happy belated birthday apollo not sure where all the hate is coming from lots of hostility from people it has no effect on at all but you are clearly loving relationship that's strong as hell bleep all this noise keep being happy Mm, it's beautiful to be loved and loved who cares what people think hell they might love him too <laughs> right uh you keep loving your man and supporting him people always trying to send something negative girl you only got 162 likes so who is everybody lol um all of the people in the comments all of the people in the comments and 162 likes is still a lot of people that oh oh jesus had 12 followers what's your point hitler had thousands girl you better 
<laughs> what did I say the other um Phasia was seeing someone on a side to her used to be yes Phasia was Phasia was absolutely seeing someone on the side like I said Phaedra is all about the image and the thickness and she lie a lot and those people are never happy trying so much and desperately to show this image to the public but they're very evil what that lady did to Kitty and Kenya that Phaedra is someone that can lie on you and be on the front row in court and watch them give you the death penalty and sit there without blinking and watch you die. That's that that those those type of people are as evil, like evil to the core. And the fans and the people that support her, like the girl just said in that comment, wrote in that comment, Hitler ha had thousands, and I rest my case. Nothing else to say about that. And no, no not comparing her to hitler so don't twist my words because i know how the internet works so true sis because everyone that's hitting do look like trolls live your life babe love you can't wait to see you sis you're a non-factor you want people to drag you boo nobody gave her same thing with the unbothered statement if she's a non-factor and nobody gave her why are you on her page making a comment if she's such a non-factor you won't be on her page you'll be living your life being happy her page will be a non-factor to you <laughs> or the people who make a comment with and say or, or write nobody cares uh you care boo because if you didn't care you wouldn't be on the page so nice to see apollo has a strong woman by his side it is also funny how these how things turn out for his ex-wife when she was kicked off the show god does not like ugly and boy did the tables turn on her queen continue to be you and follow your heart tell apollo i'm a fan and cannot wait to see him on the top again with all his success well hmm after the second time, I am hoping that Apollo really learned his lesson. Because, yeah, if he comes back, I mean, he came back and did the same thing and went back. If he comes back and do the same thing, yeah, he deserved that life in prison. I mean, something must be amazing over there because, you know what I'm saying? You got boys... He got young boys, man, to raise and all of that. So hopefully he really comes back and, and turn his life around. Y'all need to stop. Phaedra has moved on. You may not hear about it, but honey, we are full blood as cup here. She has moved on. Apollo has moved on. What's the big deal? Exactly. Exactly. She said, uh, really, sis? Because that married man was sure hurt and upset over Mr. Chocolate. We don't care. This is my thing. Um, Apollo didn't give a bleep about Phaedra dating Mr. Chocolate. <laughs> Apollo was more angry of the fact that Miss Goody Two Shoes, who can do no wrong. I'm telling y'all, there's no way you living in a house with your husband and he's doing certain things and you don't know. Of all that anger and rage is the fact that, and you know what? It's Apollo's fault. You know what I'm saying? But all that anger and rage is coming from the fact that he keeps doing things, right? And getting locked up, but potentially someone who he feels like was probably knew about it or whatever is you know continuing her life to stay out here and not getting arrested and stuff but he's not going to snitch that's the mother of his children you know what i'm saying so anyways that's where all that anger and rage is coming from but hopefully when he gets out he can you know do the right things and all of that now apollo <laughs> Uh, Apollo been working out. Apollo did post this picture right here. Or whoever that's running his Instagram page uh, did post this picture right here. I mean, he's been working out. Raise your standards and sculpt your mind. And of course, you know, people were in the comments being funny and stupid and talking about, oh, they let you on IG and praising them. <laughs> I probably get away from me with this. <laughs> no, I'm sure someone. Apollo will definitely make a lot of money when he gets out. He got shows. 
what is the show love after locked up whatever the case might be he gets out very soon did he tell you if he's doing the spin up on bravo my understanding is he still have some years to go before he's out uh he got multiple show offers from various network he is going to the halfway house soon Apollo does not have a long road. He's approaching release. Raise your standard and sculpt your mind and stop doing doing crime and you won't have to do hard time. That's what you should have said. <laughs> back to back. I really do hope he learned his lesson. The thirst is real in here. I prefer my man not in prison. Well, mm, Sheree, Sheree is doing it. <laughs> don't steal no more <laughs> somebody is trying to get a peach by apollo apollo they call you apollo peter thomas did post repost this picture of apollo and my dude is getting ready to come home all right so it's nice peter and todd i still very great friends with apollo they still talk to him and all of that so can we get a show the real ex-husband of Atlanta? <laughs> that would be now Kevin Hart already had a show like that, but it was of Hollywood and it was scripted. They're talking about a reality show. Um, that would definitely work. Oh, not Lisa Wood, ex-husband, Ed Hart. Well, you know Ed would do it too. <laughs> Everyone deserves a second chance. This is not his second chance. This is his third chance. She's a horrible lawyer if she had no idea how the man she got from prison was legit. Listen, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna leave that alone. Phaedra knew what's going on. Mm -hmm. Everyone well. So I'm gonna wish him well. And yeah, man, wish everyone well. His fiance and all of that. And we'll see what happens when he come out of prison. I'm my Fernando Loves. I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. I'm wishing you all an amazing day. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.